The Wajia East Member of Parliament, Adan Dawood, concluded his intensive development tour in the Upper East constituency. His high-profile convoy, tightly secured, commenced at Afar Shale Primary School, where he inaugurated two modern staff quarters for the teachers. Swiftly, the entry did move to Arbakairans of Mixed Day Secondary School, where he unveiled the newly constructed school facilities. Following Arbake Ranso, the lawmakers' convoy discreetly arrived at Junction Primary School, inaugurating three new classrooms and upgraded toilets for the learners. After the junction activity, the lawmaker engaged with the community residing in Lambib location, inaugurating at the state of the art chief's office to facilitate community service under the national government purview. As evening descended, the lawmakers convoy ventured into Wajia town, where the MP launched the construction of two classrooms at Hodan Primary School. The architecture of the classrooms captivated attention, promising an enriching learning environment for the student. To culminate his tour, the MP commissioned the renovation of the four classrooms at Rahma Primary School, funded by the Constituency Development Fund. This project marked the final endeavor of the MP's week-long development tour within the constituency. During his press briefing, the MP emphasized the importance of the fostering peaceful coexistence and harmony within communities residing near Somalia border. He expressed gratitude to the security agencies, particularly the Kenya Defense Forces, for their vigilant efforts in safeguarding the borders against terrorist threats. Furthermore, he urged the local residents to collaborate closely with the security forces to uphold tranquility and stability in the constituency. Thank you very much. Today we are here in Arbaka Iransia, uh, a very vibrant town that is going to be the divisional headquarters of this division of Arbaka Iransi. Uh, I have come here on a tour to a Thanksgiving tour to the people of Arbaka Iransi. It is one of the places that has elected me to be the member of parliament for Wajia East. And uh, among the things that we are very grateful for is the security. Before we used to suffer from insecurity, but today, thanks to the people of Arbaka Iransi, and thanks to the organs of our government, especially KDF, the special forces, and the, the, the specialized police units like the QRU, and our young men and women, the KPR, the Kenya Police Reserve, we have improved on our security and people now can go about their business. The people of Arbaka Iransi are very hardworking. They lack some basic amenities. But uh, both the county government and the national government will do something for them. Today we also did a groundbreak. Uh, we just we did the opening of the new secondary school, and we are going around the division to do more educational things. But of importance is that education will not be we will not be able to do any services without security, and security is paramount. So we urge both the locals and the organs of government to keep up the good job they are doing and we thank them for their service. We appeal to the Teacher Service Commission to be fair to all parts of Kenya. Uh, the Commission has already started sending extra teachers to us, but we ask them to do more. But as a community also, we are sending our kids to teacher training colleges. We believe that in the next one or two years, we will have self-sufficiency in, in this part of the country.